I'd like to call this special meeting of the Hoyoke City Council to order. We have a communication from the mayor requesting a special meeting of the City Council to be held at 615 on June 28th. There are six items to be discussed. These are all revolving fund reauthorizations, one related to the Community Emergency Response Team, one related to Community Field, one related to Elderly Health Services, one related to Government TV Access Channel, one related to Roberts Field, and one related to Wisteria Hearst Museum activities. Okay, I'm gonna call the roll, um, but in the place of that, I'm just gonna go around the room, uh, starting from my left, going to my right, as to who's here. I see that Councilor Graney is with us, Councilor Tallman is here, Councilor Leahy is here, Councilor Lopez is here, Councilor Sullivan is here, Councilor Lebro Martinez is here, Councilor McGivern is here, Councilor Vacan is here, Councilor Roman is here, and myself, Councilor Jordan is here. We are missing one, two, three, four, five, so we have a quorum of 10 members. All rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. And the city of Hoyoke. And the city council. Okay, so uh, let's see now. A motion would be in order. I believe, Councilor McGivern, you wanted to take four out of the package, but a motion to suspend the rules to take items one, two, three, five, and six as a package would be in order. So moved. Second. Okay, motion's been made and seconded to take up items one, two, three, five and six as a package I will just briefly go through that motion all in favor of that aye, aye. opposed so moved item number one relates to and these are all of the same statute genre okay so Massachusetts general law chapter 44 section 53 e and a half the City Council hereby authorizes and establishes a fund to be maintained for fiscal year 2017 uh, for the Community Emergency Response Team Support Revolving Fund. Uh, there's approximately $4,000 per year that goes into this uh, fund. <clears throat> Item number two also from the same statute is the Community Field Park Revolving Fund. Council is authorizing the expenditure of actual receipts or a cap of $100,000. Item number three, same statute, <clears throat> the Elderly Health Services Revolving Fund. Council's authorizing the allowance of this fund for the expenditure of actual receipts or $10,000, whichever is lesser. Item number five, also authorized under the same statute, reauthorizes the Roberts Field Sports Complex Revolving Fund. We are hereby authorizing the lesser of actual receipts collected in fiscal year 17 or $125,000, whichever is less to be expended. Item number six is the Wisteria Hearst Museum Activities Revolving Fund. We are hereby authorizing the expenditure from this fund of actual receipts or a cap of $60,000. A motion to receive and adopt and reauthorize items one, two, three, five, and six would be in order. Okay, is there a second? Second. second? second. Motion's been made and seconded. I just note for the record, Councilor Bartley is now with us. Under discussion, <coughs> Councilor McGivern. Thank you, Mr. President. Real quick, each of these items, one, two, three, five, and six, are existing revolving funds for which, for different reasons, money is, revenue is, is collected. Uh, for example, community park field, it would be from the, the, the cell phone tower, and the money goes into that account to be spent on community park. Roberts Field is from when it's rented out, the money goes into the account to be spent on either the event or for future maintenance and things that they can do with it. Same thing similar with Steria Hearst. So each of these are just, are re, are we have to reestablish once a year. The numbers next to them we learned are just the max 
not the actual numbers of what's in the account now, but right. the max that can go in. Correct. I, I would speak in favor of one, two, three, five, and six. Second. Okay. Any other discussion? Councilor Tallman. Yeah, I, I just had a question. If we're not voting on four, is that going to affect anything? Because it's a community TV, you know, government channel. I'm just wondering if that would, if, if we could maybe suspend the rules, ask the uh, auditor. Well, I was thinking that <coughs> we'll, let's just take up four. Okay. It's not okay. refined us, but I'm certain we're going to have to do something with four. Okay. Okay. So that question, I'll recognize you in one minute. Okay. Uh, anything else on one, two, three, five, and six? Hearing none. I, in the absence of the clerk, I will call the roll. A yes vote is in favor of adopting and reauthorizing all of those uh, revolving funds for fiscal year 2017. <coughs> A no vote is to deny. Uh, let's see, we'll start with, I'm just gonna go left to right. Uh, Councillor Graney. Yes. Councillor Graney, yes. Councillor Tallman. Yes. Councillor Tallman, yes. Councillor Leahy. Yes. Councilor Lopez. Yes. Councilor Sullivan. Yes. Councilor LeBron Martinez. Yes. Councilor McGivern. Yes. Councilor Bartley. Yes. Councilor Vacan. Yes. Councilor Roman. Yes. And Councilor Jordan votes yes. 11 yeas, zero nays. One, two, three, five, and six are hereby adopted and reauthorized for FY17. That now leaves us with one item. Let me just get my notes here for the clerk. Okay, item number four. Make a motion to receive, refer to Committee on Finance. Second. Okay, motion's been made and seconded to receive <laughs> item number four and refer it to Finance under discussion, Councilor McGivern. Thank you, Mr. President. I, I think it's a good idea to hear from the auditor because he's gonna say different as to what I'm suggesting, but I would like to just say up front, I, I've been trying to get an answer as to what this revolving fund is more specific. You and I, and I think most of us know the history of PEG Access. The original corporation was set up when Mike Sullivan was mayor. This body voted for the corporation. The president is always on the corporation, and the city solicitor is always on the corporation, the three voting officers, to handle what's known as PEG Access monies. Up until the, the most recent contract, those monies were 60000 I think, or so a year or twice a year. Most of it went to the schools for the media. Some of it went to various equipment like we are using this evening, things that we purchased over the years for the city that are media-related and fall within the criteria of what those monies can be spent on. This year, those monies have been increased as the president was good to tell us and, and keep us informed earlier this year, a new body is eventually gonna take place over the existing corporation. I didn't object to the new body, but I objected to not being part of because the council, city council originally voted for the existing format, which was modeled after Greenfield uh, many years ago. But my questions this evening, which I don't think can be answered because I try to get answers just before the meeting from the auditor is, who is overseeing this money, okay? And, and why is it revolving money? This is money that's coming from Comcast going into a corporation that can be spent on specific things. And, and is it, maybe Kevin can help with this, but is, if the existing corporation is still in place while we're trying to change it to a, a broader based corporation that's gonna handle the new media center, which I think is a great idea, and involve the, and involve the public at large, which I think is a great idea, who's gonna oversee millions of dollars eventually? And, and, and that, that's what this, uh, I'm not saying this account, but that's what PEG Access is being set up for and primed up for. We're not the only community that's done it. It's very interesting, but I, I've read articles in other communities where there's been a lot of problems of oversight of the funds. And I just think that those, those are answers that before we uh, reestablish or establish a revolving account, maybe it is re reauthorizing it, but it certainly is new because before it was not the type of money that's about to go into it. 
and we don't know who's going to look at it, who's going to watch, how is it spent, who's spending it, where is it going? I, I that's that's where I'm coming from. If 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 you want to, I think Councillor Tomlin made a good suggestion to hear from the auditor, but I think we need time before we vote. I need time before we vote on it. Councillor Graney, uh, just uh, a question through the chair to uh, Councillor McGivern. If uh, we vote to send this to committee, we still have plenty of time to reauthorize this money at a later date, correct? Hey, well, we're not appropriating any money. The money comes right. in no matter what. It's where right. you but know, we can act on this after we get the information. I, I would defer that to the auditor because I'm, I'm just I'm not sure, but I would right. defer that to the auditor. Right. But regardless, I, I can't see authorizing an account if we don't know who's watching the, you know, the, the hen house. Do we want to I agree. Want to suspend the rules to have the auditor speak? Or? I, I abstain. You're abstaining. Councilor Leahy will be abstaining from participation or voting on this matter. Briefly, please. Okay, all in favor of suspending the rules to hear from the auditor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Briefly, please. Briefly. Um, so what happens in the event uh, we send this to finance and we don't take this up again until, say, August or September? Then we don't have a revolving fund for 2017. Okay. Can we adopt it later in the year? The uh, I spoke to the state about this before we called this meeting, and they said the, the law says that the revolving fund must be established by the end of the preceding fiscal <coughs> year for the next fiscal year. That's why we're having this meeting tonight, and it, it couldn't wait until July. It couldn't wait until August. Councilor McGiver makes some valid points. We know very little about, uh, you know, this million dollars that exists in there, Hoya Community Media. I mean, now PEG, the former PEG Access Channel board, as far as I know, is a shell of what it used to be. And it's not really the three people. Um, usually we're used to some sort of accounting of these funds, where they're going, why. Should we expand it, have more? Um, I don't know. Maybe we need to not have this, but have a different account. Maybe, what's the rules on creating a different one? Could we have something that's uh, not this account, but we could have authorization of another account? Because well, we, it's kind of there, there is a lot of questions around this, Bellamy. I do. Yes. I think we need to be and sensitive and to that. I don't know yeah. anything about this either. This has been. Yeah. This account has been authorized every year. I use the same yeah. language we used last year, sure. which was the same language from the year before. The diff yeah, right. No, you're no, you're absolutely uh, right. The difference is that the nature and structure of how the payments are being handled is different in that we have this new entity called Hoya Community Media that we never had before. And the question is, how do all those things interact? It's, it's my understanding that the money is either going to Comcast, is coming from Comcast, and it's a lot more now. It's like almost a half a million dollars a year. And it's now going to Hoyo Community Media. And some of that money is also being broken off and going into this fund. That's all I know. And I don't know if you know more, but. No, I know nothing. I, okay. I, I, yeah, I still am familiar with the old corporation sure. that was chaired by the, the president of the city council and the mayor and the yeah. city solicitor that each year would give <coughs> some money to the schools for the school channel yeah. and some money to the city for this, yeah. the community access channel, which this fund, I believe, pays for. Yeah, that's, that's kind of my knowledge. Yeah, that's kind of all changed as far as I know. And Now, I will inform yeah. the council that earlier this year the state adopted some new legislation enabling cities and towns to set up a a special fund to receive money from cable television oh, providers really? uh -huh. and i wanted to propose to the council that we adopt this legislation what but right? i called the state to find out well how do we do this and they hadn't really gotten their act together enough to be able to tell me they said well, we're still studying exactly is this going to be a revolving fund is it going to be a special fund so i'm waiting to hear back but Going, uh, you will hear more about this yeah. sometime in the near future as the state uh, sort of crystallizes the approach they would like city and towns to follow to accept this money. And in your, as you say, it may be a, a large amount of money now sure. to accept this money from cable providers. And the ideal would be we get all the money, the city. Exactly. And then That's, we, we to me, funnel that it is out. the ideal. Would, I, as the auditor, am very. Uh, I don't particularly like the old model. Let's just put it that way. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I'm with you and, 
Uh, yeah. So I, I'm anxious to see it change to something better that that <coughs> more transparent too. More trans. That's the right word. Transparent. Yeah. Good word, sir. Thank you, <laughs> Council Bro Martinez. Yeah. So seeing that we that he's explaining that has to be voted for the 2017 um, budget year, can we do some provision like like provide at least three months so that they can get it, get off the ground with can those we, conditions, like putting conditions. Can we authorize it for three months? Until. I, I would suggest you authorize it, and then you can deauthorize it if you don't like it. Right. I'm not sure you can authorize it for three months. Oh, probably not. But you could probably cancel it in two months if you find you don't like it. Are you sure we can do that? No. I don't think so. Okay. I really don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Just but I, 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 I'm not, I don't think you can authorize it for just three yeah. months, no. Yeah. The, can I just? Sure. I just thought it so that it doesn't hold off the, 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 the funding, but if it cannot be done, I, <clears throat> I think we're going to need some legal advice. I don't know what to yeah. say. The other thing is maybe we're either going to go with this new legislation. Just because we don't authorize this account doesn't mean we can't authorize and create a new account. Right. That's, the oh, other, okay. that's the other thing, too. Um, Councilor Bacon. Thank you. I just want to speak in support of the motion to send it to finance committee so we can sort out the legal ramifications as along with the financial yeah. ones. And I'm sure we'll be able to bring ourselves into compliance. And I just think we're doing our fiduciary duty to make sure we know where the funds are flowing from and to. Yeah. Thank you. And I, and I really have, and I've always had, and I've expressed this privately and somewhat publicly I have a real problem with this private organization being the recipient of 10 cents let alone uh, any of the money it should come to the city and then there's some allocation from us that would go to do this you know uh, public access or whatever we elect to do but all of this is flowing through the city <coughs> Since this is, ta you know, effectively rate payer money, you know, uh, yeah, Councilor Grant. Yeah, I think um, I agree with uh, sending this to finance so that this council can do our due diligence on these funds, and I think that yeah. we owe that to the taxpayer. Okay. Councilor McGivern. Well, I, what amazes me, Mr. President, and with all due respect to our, our fine auditor here, is that we have this new system with what we know is projected to be in the millions, and the auditor doesn't know the, what the new system is. Yeah, because they're not required to tell them. That's yeah. that's part of the problem. It's not city money at the moment right? because it goes into then this whatever this other corporation is. That's why you know uh, I don't think right. it's transparent, and neither does the president of the city council. No, right. the, the whole thing. I, is, I, no, I understand that, Bellamy, but what you're missing what I'm saying though is you should know because it's not city money, but it's a city corporation, and even though the mayor set it up without us, there is some city liability. They claim it's not a city organization. They claim that the members that sit oh, when, on it When the mayor of the city makes a contract with a cable company to get X amount of dollars siphoned from the ratepayers and given to a private corporation, the city's got some liability. Yeah. 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 Well, I, absolutely. I mean, the they could not get a dime other than by the permission of the mayor. Oh. Right. And he's the chief executive of the city. So, okay. So I think we've got our arms around the issue. Oh, Councilor Talman. Yeah, just briefly, and I, I'm glad the auditor spoke, and, and I agree with most of my colleagues here on, on the, the issue, but um, my, my only real concern was if we didn't authorize this tonight, you know, that's why these are all here, because end of the year, mm -hmm. you know, it came up that we do this every year, um, that all of a sudden there wasn't enough funding to have our public ask, our meetings, our government channel. That's my concern. So I'm not, I don't want... You know, something comes up in July, well, the, why wasn't the meeting on? Why isn't publicized? publicized? Well, we didn't have the funds in that account because we didn't reauthorize it. So whatever happens, happens. I, you know, I'll go along with that, but that's, that was my concern. Because yeah. pu public meetings, they all have to be televised, right? No. Uh, Mr. Well, President. we don't have to televise the meetings uh, in, a, in a legal sense. Okay. In, a, okay. in a moral sense, this is something we like to do right. and you know, I certainly am a strong advocate of televising the meetings, and we certainly want that to go uninterrupted. But I, I could say this: that you would, if if <clears throat> the worst case scenario, this did not get authorized, then whomever we are paying to have, you know, which would be Brian Manichek, who's the guy who we pay to uh, televise the city council meetings. You know, he would have to put in some sort of invoice, and eventually, once something is authorized, then he would have to be paid. You know, if there was anything in arrears. Right. Well, uh, I'm, out of that, but my, you stated earlier that this was a maximum. That's right. 
Hmm? There was a man. I know we got four or five, six hundred thousand coming from Comcast eventually, but you said this, these are all maximum numbers, so this is only 150,000. So that other fund is going to be something different, anyways. He's just going by what we had last year, the government access channel. What portion, the portion that came this way? The, the problem is, is there's portions going all kinds of different ways. And I think the question is, is this the model we should be even be using anymore? And the question is, should we use a different model, which says orders Comcast through the mayor to direct all the funds this way? And, and then the city cut a check to whomever, Brian, the school department to run Channel 12, how much ever we want for the access thing. But okay. that, that's a pretty lengthy conversation. So, okay. Okay. Uh, Councilor Sullivan. Yeah, do we know what the balance in this account or fund is right now? This fund? Yes. No idea. Can we ask Bellamy? Bellamy, do you know? No, but if it's a revolving fund, there really should be no balance at year end. The, usually you, you take in your money and you spend it. Um, with revolving funds, it's, mm. they don't they don't tend to accumulate a balance. I, but I didn't oh. I didn't check on this. Uh, this I, one always accumulates a balance. I, I think this one has a carry. I know Community Field does. I think Community Field has eighty something thousand in it, yeah. which is the uh, you know it, it kind of ebbs and flows over the years. Yeah. Okay. What's money in there is in there. That's already been authorized. This is now authorizing new expenditures, new intakes of revenue so that's that's the that's what's issue here well the, the question i've got around it is if there's funds in there we have no idea how much but uh, we might not be in any danger of losing any uh service we've got right now there could be plenty in there to fund it for six more months or whatever right we, we just don't know we don't know uh, council lopez is it, is it possible to get any information about this community media um, if there is a contract with the mayor or a yeah. document or whatever we can get just to make sure that we know exactly what we're voting on because I <coughs> I don't have any information you're not voting on their fund I know but I would like to know because they will be I will the money will be passing through the city council well that's the way we want to set it up in the future okay. yeah okay. currently the money would go to peg access yep. and peg access would write a check into this account and then the money's to run for the schools to pay for like the school studio to pay for our city council meetings this kind of thing would come out of this fund but then they would have their own fund which peg access had yep and um dave morton was the he would do the audit reports on that Okay. Any other questions? Okay. So the motion on the floor is to send to finance. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. So moved. Okay, so item four to finance, and that is Motion the end to of adjourn. The Motion's been made and seconded to adjourn. All in favor of adjourning? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved.